Welcome to my channel, this is Sam, I'm playing Horizon Forbidden West. So I uh, abandoned a mission midway. I don't know where I will be starting from again. Maybe inside from inside the facility. Searching for Minerva. Alert! Restricting access! You are not wanted here! Oh, I'm sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. Maybe when I need it. Never to cooperate. I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. Then we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up?
another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Will I cease? I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Is it me? Will cease? Thank you, thank you, Minerva. Abe, apto gusarel. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Fake this time? No. This time she's real. Oral? So? This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. 
good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few, to start with. You two go ahead. I'm going to... So oh, this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Fabrication terminal. No horn override. अच्छा प्रोहन हॉल चाहिए नहीं प्रोहन प्राइमरी नहीं आप चाहिए तो मैं उसके लिए तो वहाँ से लुक्स लाइक आई नीड डेटा फ्रॉम मशीन पार्ट्स टू फिक्स द क्रॉप्टेड ओवरराइड माय इनिशियलाइजेशन इज कंप्लीट यू मे कंटिन्यू टू एक्सप्लोर द फैसिलिटी एलोइड व्हेन यू आर रेडी रिटर्न टू द कंट्रोल रूम we have much to discuss. Let's see, exit me a tight little point. You can't do that. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Explore the base. तो यहाँ पे हम लोग आएंगे वो मशीन ओवरराइड करने का सीखने आएंगे। Back already? I might want to look around more first. I'll come with you then. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of. Hey Gaia, why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... Sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Yeah, I'm seeing two times in the mission. Let's see what else is planned. 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 Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your sub-functions at the Hades Proving Lab, but whatever was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Apollo 
Artemis and Aluvia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach, procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel will start on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors, and a, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Silver with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Someone from me. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, 
The terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put yeah. it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon I hate has violence, taken shelter in the like desert me. south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Let's start with Aether. I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... 
Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kyle. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zone meet me by the west door? Be right there. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check out how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Are you sure? Or I could also yes. look around here some more. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. No, I have the Plain Song of us. I need to head for the west to um get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aerith. Bring him here. Look, allies. Friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. Uh -huh. When will you be back? Uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plain Song, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from the Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there is three Gaia subfunctions. And who knows what else? That's him. I mean, I'm not going to sky garden area as to where the sea of sands sits on the west. He is a main mission. I don't know if I need to know hold there. who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means for good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. 
I'll co-share them with you. Aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, you might want to gear up if you're heading into Utaro territory. Rebels have been raiding settlements all over the plains. Though I hear the village of Riverham up north has been giving them quite a fight. Thanks for the advice. Shades, those are tiny. Give me a shock, bolt blaster, frostbite arrow. Don't know how to do that. Let's put in it down. Shock, hit blaster, say. Now I'm going to get him. Let's put in it down. Let's just like, put it down.
the final boss but for now final boss is fight for now at least level 50 होना चाहिए इसके लिए मेटल ब्रोंज चाहिए ना इसके लिए मेटल ब्रोंज चाहिए बहुत ज़्यादा बहुत होगा Orlando here is sick with light too, but we'll be able to heal all of it. This guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Yes, but no. One more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given rite of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Ragala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind.
I don't need a chaplain telling me the battle. Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. What's going on? I'm going back to the pens. I've got those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with a hair like blood. The Outlander from the Embassy. You killed Greta, Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It's harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. The last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. It nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. Means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. I must be dehydrated. I heard him calling you chaplain. What does that mean? It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, I counsel the desert clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path, and their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> you mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Parts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First sawtooths, then ravagers. Now, a sandblasted thunderjaw. Hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. Had to leave half my hundred behind to fend it off. No survivors are the ones you see here. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. And I'll land her after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I'll go with you. Very well. We leave for the southeast canyon. May the Ten protect you, then. I will wait your return and report to the capital. You do that. Okay, the other side mission I will go more. This way. Here we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. And Jataka has the stones to tell me the commander has good reason to be strict with our water supply. But I think she think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? No. I bet they dip their hand in the trough whenever they want. Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to scrape by. To fight, tooth and nail, to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? I've lived in the fringes of the desert my entire life. I've fought for every single mouthful of water I've ever had. I know I'm a better fighter. And I'm prettier. Uh-huh. I'd make sure everyone gets all the water they need, no matter what village they're from. Did Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'll be able to fix that somehow. It's always a way. I guess that's a good way to look at things. There it is. Gotta get some more ammo. Follow me. You'll uh, have to excuse the mess. 
Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon. You're, uh, welcome to any supplies you can find. I need them for the fight ahead. Thanks. There we go. Let's move out. So, what's a Nora looking for out in the Forbidden West? He says I'm looking for something. I doubt you traveled all the way out here just for the scenery. I'm trying to fix something. I see. All right, you can keep your secrets. Guess I should just be thankful you decide my problems are worth fixing too. Harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. Hold on to any hearts you loot, and I'll take them from you later. Kill the machine. Spawn some machine blade. Oh, it's so good. I'm over here. Is the water gonna. Take care of those machine parts. those parts for me, I'd appreciate it.
Did you harvest those machines' parts? Not yet. Okay, not yet. We will there. those parts for me, I'd appreciate it. I'll take care of my people. You take care of those machine parts. Did you harvest those machines' parts? Not yet. Okay. we need. I should take these to Draka.
तो मैं बात करके टाइम खड़प करूँगा जो हो गया हो गया देखो शो उतारने के लिए कितना टाइम लगता है think so many have to die just to get water did you try talking to your commander with scalding spear <sighs> please the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn <laughs> about that wouldn't mind having yours on my side if it ever came to it i'm just passing through the drop <sighs> can't blame me for trying <laughs> this is it where the thunder jaw ripped through my squad sorry they were warriors we should get started someone's alive by the rocks Speak sense, soldier. For ours. The battle. Oh, my
almost going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Ah. Uh, I know I'm racking up favors here, but, uh... Did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. Turn. Where's Draka? Just a little late, Chaplain. She needs some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a thunder jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them the scalding spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? Okay. Rumors have made their way west. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan, but our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding's Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. Hello, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back with more exciting videos. Until then, stay tuned and have a good day.